Hi everyone, welcome to Phase 1 IX Process webinar. My name is Lisa Chen. I'm the product manager of Phase 1 Aerial Solutions PAS, focusing on IX Suite software package. The software package includes three software, IX Plan, IX Flight Pro, and IX Process. Completing the entire workflow from planning, data acquisition, data review, and processing of your mapping projects. In this webinar, we will demo some key features in IX process using different projects. To create an IX process project, there are only two folders you need. The first one is the folder that carried on from IX plan to IX flight pro. That includes the mission in the folder. The second one is you select where your IIQ files are saved. For oblique systems, you would have different directories for all the camera heads. Once your project is loaded, a wizard shows up automatically. This wizard shows you what features that you can actually go through to review your projects. In the right panel, you can enter the requirements of your project that you would like to see whether your data is meeting those requirements. Some typical requirements are sun angles, overlap, side lap, and some also required um, raw pitch show deviations. Let's enter something um, as a standard. The overlap and side lap values are actually brought in from your planning parameters. The values that you enter here will automatically change here. Next one, you can check whether your area of interest is completed. Let's deactivate the flight lines. Here you can also see the direction of your flight lines. Now we see the images overlaid on the map and also underneath you have the terrain models if you have them from your IX plant folder. For this project, you have the entire region completed. We can show an example where you actually have missing flight lines that you would actually need to complete later on. In this project, you will find actually your area of interest is not completed. What you can do inside IX process is you select the missing lines and then create a pre-fly plan directly. It generates a JSON file. In the same file folder, you can actually use directly in IX Flight Pro to complete your mission. Then what you can do is you can go to Disk Management and copy the flight data again to the same folder so you can eventually view this project and the second project all together inside IX process. When your project is loaded, you can also check the image quality of each project. There's automatic check you can run. It will go through all the images and check if you have corrupted images based on the size. Or you could also go for example, in this project, you could see 
there are cloud covering some of the images. You could go inside those lines and then the specific waypoint and here you have tax options and you can set the tax cloud. You have the quick key which is three. It will be very convenient to mark it and the adjacent images by just pressing three. Or you would like to mark, for example, the oblique images that covers only the ocean area. You can then mark the entire line as water. Then you don't have to go to each individual image and then you can see all the images of the same flight line is marked. There are also a couple of information you can check on your project. For example, the raw pitchal angle of your flight line. You can see how your flight lines are flown according to what you have planned. And this may eventually indicate a sudden turn of your images that could cause some insufficient overlap. You can also compute the overlap inside the software. So here you can then see which images are actually under the requirement that we enter a 60-30 overlap and side lap. Those image pairs will be shown on the below list and you can choose to approve it or leave it. They will also eventually shown in your quality report. In one of our projects, you can see there are actually one flight line that has been flown twice. And according to the area of interest, this yellow region, then we decided to pick this one as the one in use. Here you can find instructions telling you how to pick the one that you would actually need to proceed. Once you review all of the criteria of your project, you can then adjust your image. Let's say we pick one of the lines, for example. For example, there are some white rooftop surface that sometimes it's really easy to have the image a bit overexposed. So here you can actually adjust the image to retrieve more information on those areas. And this is especially helpful when you want to proceed with those images into a photogrammetry workflow. Same with the shadow area, you could also enhance those area to have more information in those dark areas. Once you have done the adjustment, you can view before and after before you save those adjustments. You can also apply 
a standard workflow when you adjust on some image and then you would like to apply it to adjacent images you can copy the adjustment and apply it somewhere else or you can here apply to all the image sets that you have inside the project. The last step is you process your image. Phase one camera is using IIQ image format by default. The image format is now accepted a lot of software partners. For example, Trimble Info Software, Simactive Correlated 3D, and Skyline Photo Mesh. Those softwares will take IIQ formats directly, so you don't really have to convert the TIFF images. For all other softwares, it's standard that you will convert IIQ to TIFF, and you also have the option to import camera calibration files and export the images geometric corrected. I will take one example. To convert, you can name your template and choose the bit depth of your image and the destination where you want to save your files. You can browse the folder and select folder name and here we would recommend to keep the original image naming because eventually they will have to match your position and orientation file. So let's try converting the image. This one takes slightly longer because it's a Nadir image, which is actually a combination of two images. After you review the project and convert the images, you can generate the report with the information entered. Here you can see the quality report has been generated with the information you have entered regarding the company information and coverage of each individual image camera head, including the near infrared images and the coverage of footprint of overlaps, etc. So let's wrap up what we have reviewed in IX process today. The concept of IX process is to allow you to review your mission data and to adjust your image as well as to export it in the standard format TIFF. So here you can eliminate the duplicated lines and approve or not the sun angles which is below your requirement. Images below your overlap and sidelap requirements. And if you have missing lines that is not completing your area of interest, you can also create a reflight plan directly and IX Flight Pro will be able to take it directly. Thank you for joining our webinar today. I hope you like it. If you have questions or feedback, please contact us at geospatial.phase1.com. We hope to see you in the upcoming webinars.